und willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge Red Dead Redemption 2. So, wie wir mit der Hauptquest weitermachen, und zwar müssen wir dazu zu John Marston. Wie versprochen, bin ich natürlich schon im Lager und äh, wenn wir uns doch gleich mal hinschauen, was der uns zu erzählen hat. So, Bildmarkgerät an und dann schauen wir doch mal. John Marston ist hier vorne irgendwo. Schauen wir doch mal. Hey Arthur. Servus. Wo bist du? Onkel hat mir etwas über einen Train gesagt. Was hat er gesagt? Mary Beth hat über einen Train voll von reichen Leuten gesprochen. Rollen down durch Scarlet Meadows, just south of the State Border? Ja. Yes. Du brauchst Hilfe mit dem? Ich bin nicht sicher, sure ob ich das mache. Komm schon. Am Nacht? Nicht zu geguardet? Es ist perfekt. Nein, ich habe es nicht durchgezogen. Wir stoppen den Train. Pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> That is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Okay. So, schauen wir auf die Karte. Oh, sorry, Leute. Okay, wir haben nichts auf der Karte markiert bekommen. Äh, dann gehen wir mal zum Pferd und schauen mal, ob es dann vielleicht markiert ist. Ah, jetzt ist es markiert, okay. Fragen, wie für John stehen kannst du markieren. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Jetzt gehen wir erstmal zum Pferdchen. So, Arthur, when I was in Valentine, ja, ja, jetzt nicht. I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, yeah. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take oh, a look. Get him away, too. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. How are you? Okay, I'm going to quest become. So, und schauen wir doch mal. Also, da oben haben wir irgendwo was gesehen. Müssen wir alle Wegen klauen oder reicht ein Ölwagen von Cornwall? Äh, wir gehen mal zu dem hier hin. Der ist am nächsten dran. Da müsste einer reichen, oder? Ich habe das Gefühl, dass die ja immer, dass die immer einen extremen Umweg machen. Wird schon passen.
What the hell? Ja, Scheiße gebaut. Wo wir jetzt hin mit dem Ding? Hier unten hin oder was? Zielort. Ich habe jetzt bloß gesucht. Ich hoffe mal nicht, dass es noch mehr passiert. Ich muss schon schauen, ob unser Pferdchen mitkommt. Ich bin bloß in Ruhe, Mensch. Ja, die Pferde haben gar keine Ausdauer, sehe ich gerade. Zwei PS. Bitte, wie bitte? Schneller Bitch, schneller zieh! Der Laden hier. Wieder reinschieben oder was? Yep. Yep. Langsam, hey! Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yep. Easy, boy. Easy boy. Sage John im Lager, dass der Wagen in Position ist. Boah, ernsthaft? Ich denke nochmal Bock da hinzuschauen in das Haus. Wir jetzt schon immer. Hier kann man hier noch was snacken. Stable. Ah, hier ist unser Stall. Hier kann ich Pferde aussuchen, oder? Ich 
No good has ever come from a man covering his mug. <lacht> This is all on you. Sorry, ich wollte nicht. Ich wollte nicht, ich hab bloß auf die Waffe gekommen. Ja, kann ja mal passieren. Kommt hier rein. Kann passieren, sollte nicht passieren, aber mei. So, okay, wir müssen ins Lager zurück. Wo sind wir denn hier? Zu José wahrscheinlich. Jetzt schon Marzen oder Masten. Ziehen wir gleich hier durch, weil der zeigt mir wieder einen langen Weg über die Straßen an. Mit dem brauche ich ja nicht gehen, kann ja hier lang gehen. Ja, diese Funktion wäre echt geil. So, jetzt sind wir gleich da. Okay, dann gehen wir mal zu Mr. Marston. Da können wir schon mal gucken, ob die Suppe hier fertig ist. Die Suppe. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Gently I her I did say she pulled up her garment. So scared. Ich werde ich. Okay. With old Phoenix went for in for oil. I hadn't been boring six inches or more. The oil from my auger so free to be poor. Mr. Morgan. Seem happy, Mr. Morgan. We have been provided for. There we have. Picabell, then we must not have got any girl. Listen to him here. Listen to you. Fine time, sir. Ah, da hinten am Baum. Okay, da wo vorher auch gestanden ist. John. Und 
Teil 3. Good. Teil 3. Good. You? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> Okay. Maybe get Robert. Is near to the other view. I don't know if I'm going to get to Who did you call a goddamn drunkard? Uh, hi. Show me. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. Oh, All God. his upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm and your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Ja, aber jetzt nicht. Ach nee, ich mag jetzt nicht. Ich mag jetzt die blöde Ölvergießen-Quest machen. Oh, ernsthaft. Oh, können sie anscheinend noch nicht machen. Hier oben ist aber nichts mehr. Oh, dann müssen wir wirklich jetzt zu dem gehen. Okay, dann gehen wir mal zum Jack. Vielleicht geht es erst danach oder so. Wie gesagt, wir sollen ihnen dann sagen, wenn wir bereit sind. Vielleicht müssen wir erst so ein bisschen was anderes machen nebenbei. Kleiner Jack. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're. <laughs> It's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gehen wir fischen mit dem Clean. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, girl. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Just talking silly. <laughs> You've had a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. I have a Penny Dreadful book gebeten. Can I get it? Can I get it? All right. This 
Looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Warte mal, ich nehme die Knarre wieder mit. Nicht, dass hier noch irgendwie gebietene Gäste kommen. So, eher eins. Oh, das ist die Angel, okay. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Ich drücke jetzt zwei, um einen Fisch in den Haken zu nehmen, wenn ihr angewiesen habt. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nimbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Fish on the line. I see. I see. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. A great fishing spot. Don't jinx it, kid. You okay there? I think so. This is hard. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Oh, we need to get a quick hook to fish him or L1 to get him to get him to get I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Well, let's try again. Da hinten sehe ich was, aber ich weiß nicht, ob das... You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Born as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? Never the next. Yes.
What are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. Ach du Scheiße, kleines Ding da. Well, this is clearly the spot for Bluegill. Hey, look at this. Okay. For what? This necklace I made. Den Angel da gar nicht. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. Oh. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. It's five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Oh, Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it. From Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Say, Penny. Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <lacht> Aber ich hab die Angel jetzt. Was heißt, ich kann fischen gehen? Ich will mal schon schauen. Äh, na, das wollte ich jetzt nicht. Habe ich die Fische jetzt hier drin? Fische, was drückt mir hier? Gar nichts. Ja, oh, genau, Fisch ist fettig und zäh und wird typischerweise in dir eine Pfanne gebraten. Käse ist ein guter Köder und kann die Fangquote erhöhen. Okay. Zucker, ja, wo kriege ich Käse her? Oh, Fische. Muss ich den ins Lager bringen oder wie? Oh, okay. I don't like it here anymore. Wenn unser Pferd kommt, gehen wir ins Lager zurück, Kena. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well. Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Yeah, how 
about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. War das jetzt in die Folgen oder so? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Geht das seine Mutter? The luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay. Okay, Leute. Wir schauen mal, ob die andere Mission jetzt schon frei ist. Jo, die wird schon frei. Ich würde aber sagen, die machen wir in der nächsten Folge. In der nächsten Folge machen wir das mit dem Zug überfallen. Den John Marston. Gut, Leute, dann würde ich sagen, machen wir jetzt Cut, wie schon gesagt. Und wir sehen uns in der nächsten Folge wieder. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, lasst mir noch ein Like, Kommentar oder auch Abo da. Würde ich mich sehr, sehr darüber freuen. Und ansonsten sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge wieder. Bis dahin. Reingehauen, ciao, ciao. Euer Andi.